Hello people, here are a few big brain tips and tricks that you're gonna need in Valorant. We just hit over 190 subscribers after I asked for about 175 in the last one, so thank you for all the support. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and help me get to 200 subscribers. I upload on a weekly basis, so if you want to support me through my journey, feel free to click that subscribe button. Oh yeah, and join my Discord server. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's probably somewhere in the description, and if you're watching this on TikTok, it's probably in my bio. So anyways, that's enough of me, let's go straight to the video. So let's start off the video with this very insane sky flash. So this sky flash could be called the reverse fake flash or the double fake flash, whatever you want to call it. So normally if you're going to fake flash with sky, you're going to throw your hawk one direction and peek without popping it, right? It's as simple as that. But this flash is a fake for that fake flash. You can do this by throwing your flash right there onto a corner. And then when your enemy thinks that you've faked flash and decides to peek you again, you can take the hawk back out of that corner and onto the enemy's face and then flash them. Just follow the example that I'm doing in the clip in the background. It does take some practice to get used to, but once you do, you could be able to outplay your enemies with this. Speaking of outplays, here's one omen outplay that you can use. So if a killjoy uses her ult onto a site for the rest of her team to retake, you can wait until nearly the last second. You can take out your ult as omen and use it to ult out of killjoy's ultimate. Immediately after killjoy's ult is done, cancel your ultimate as omen and go back to that exact same position you were in earlier, and the enemy team would not be expecting you there. Speaking of killjoy's ult, Sky's wolf, dog, tiger thing is not affected by it. Yes. Speaking of retaking a site in Haven, here's a really easy to remember Viper retake lineup. So if you're going to retake A on Haven, you just go over to these boxes over here. From this box, you're going to look up at the center of those wooden thingies. You know, there's that wooden cross over there. At the center of it, that's where you're gonna aim. You're going to fire up this molly, it's gonna take a bounce off the wall and land there on that corner so you have one less angle to clear. Here's how you make an instant lineup with Viper. When you run with your agent, you can see a sound circle around your agent on the minimap like this. So what you can do is you can ping a location, look straight up, start running, and when that location is at the edge of the circle, you just fire up your molly. Your molly will land exactly at that location. But that's not all. Apparently this lineup does not only work for Viper, but also works for Killjoy's nano swarms. And like I've said in a past video, and I'm going to say it here again, any Killjoy lineup also works for KO. So the three agents that can do this would be Viper, Killjoy, and KO. Good luck on those improvised post-plant lineups, people. Here's another tip. So apparently you can dodge Neon stun with Jet. So if you updraft just before the stun hits, you are able to dodge the stun entirely. Up next, the reason why low graphics is way better than high graphics. So right now I'm on high graphics and as you can see, Ascent is really beautiful and all. But with Chamber, you can place your Chamber Trap right there on the grass next to the staircase. People playing with high graphics would not be able to see this, but if you play with low graphics, the grass over there disappears entirely and the Chamber Trap is very obvious. Go ahead and add that to your reasons why low graphics settings is better than high graphics settings. With Cypher on Bind, you can go on top over here. Aim right there where I'm looking at, jump, and you can place your camera. This is a good camera because it's pretty high up and people don't usually look there, so enjoy locking down a site with this camera. Here's what I found out about Sova's recon dart. So if you shoot the recon dart and it sticks to a phoenix in his ultimate, when he TPs back to his original spot, the recon dart will also follow him. Speaking of the Recon Dart, apparently you can shoot it at the Sky Ult and it would stick to it. Not a very useful trick, but at least you know, right? While we're on the topic of Sova Utility, so his drone gives a lot of information, but apparently you can use Astra's Suck ability thingy to pull the drone and the drone can't break free from it until it's over. Again, not very useful, but you know, you could use it once. At the start of the video, I showed you a really nice Sky Flash, but another thing about her Flash is that it can blind the Boom Bot of Rays. I believe everyone's familiar with this window in Ascent. And apparently, if you throw your gun, you're able to break this window. With this knowledge, you can maybe throw your gun through that window to make enemies think you're gonna go through it, and then play off of tree. I don't know, it could work sometime. Try it out. And lastly, if you're in an eco round and you got yourself a better gun, but you don't have enough time to survive the spike explosion, this tip is just for you because Yoru's ult is able to survive the spike explosion. So anyways, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much people for all the support. 
At the time of recording this video, we have about over 190 subscribers, so I really appreciate it. My original plan was to hit 200 subscribers by June, but February hasn't even ended yet, and we're already at over 190. So for all of those people who haven't subscribed yet, do consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. I'll also post montages, guides, lineups, etc. All those things. And yeah, help me get to 200 subscribers. Thank you so much to the 192 people in my channel who are subscribed right now. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you want a nice place to chat, I have a Discord server. Link would be in the description. Go check it out. If you have your own tips, tricks, lineups, etc., you can submit them over there. You could submit links if you want, just don't spam it. And if ever I am to use them in my videos, I will give you a shout out with proper credits. I also have a Twitch channel, go check that out. Link will also be in the description. Was there anything else I wanted to say? Um, comment your suggestions down below. Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Bye bye.